G'day all. I'm going to give you a tour of my model and toy steam engine room. This is the doorway of the, one of the corridors of the house. There's an old brass ship's bell. Uh, I'm doing this one on my phone, not on my uh, little compact camera. So I hope it goes all right. Okay, here we go into my steam room. Alright, I'll just swing you around as I close the door. I'll go to start off with the northern wall, what I call the northern wall. Um, a lot of you would have seen this angle in uh, a lot of my Steam videos. This is where I sit in uh, the office chair. The little dog's bed is down on the left there. She's just outside at the moment. But um, I have whiled away literally hundreds of hours sitting here at this desk. Uh, those cutting mats are fairly new. I've only bought them in the last month. Uh, they are absolutely... I wish I'd bought them years ago. I've got some out in my shed as well now. Okay, in my steam room... I've got down there is a juice reducer which uh, drops 240 volts down to 110 and anywhere in between. Great for running uh, overseas electric boilers from the US, etc. Uh, you've got uh, air coming from uh, a airline all the way up from my tool shed. And I've got some pull out drawers here. And I'll just show you, this is the top row, I'll start from the top, that's the top row of engines that I've got. I've framed a lot of uh, the old advertisements, ads and uh, pictures that I've come across over the years in different places and they add a real good sense of atmosphere to the steam room. I'll just go so if I go any faster the uh, image will jerk on the video. And the next shelf. Uh, all these engines have come from all different countries of the world. 90% of them are off eBay. I live in country New South Wales, Australia, and I don't go anywhere where I would see there's no steam fairs or anything around here. So my really only option is uh, buying models and toy steam engines off eBay. Some Stewart boilers, MSM 4 inch boiler, a couple more MSM engines. Okay, so I'll just give you another view of that northern wall. Hit a button there by mistake, so. I'm back in. This this video is going to get joined to the previous one, so I'm coming back over to the other side, the right hand side of the northern wall. Some Stirling hot air engines, little Fleshman, an old Willesco water pump. More hot air engines, oils, gas, etc. Steam hammer, little breaker. As you can see, it's a little bit like my um, tool shed. I'm running out of room. Most of them are in this room. They have started to escape to other parts of our house. 
my wife doesn't mind, so I'm quite lucky that way. Okay, this is just like my, if you saw the tour of my tool shed the other day, you'll see that I've had to make use out of every nook and cranny, so I've put two shells um, in here. I've got all different types of oils, steam oils and gas bubbles and stuff. Should use a bit of that oil on a couple of those brass hinges. Alright, now I'll show you the western wall. I've even covered up the windows with uh, posters. The top shelf. When I open that window up, I've got an extractor fan there, which is great for taking out fumes, especially if I've been using metho in burners. That's the top of that. Now go down here. These little plastic drawers from the hardware shop are absolutely fantastic storage. The engines and accessories, they just keep coming. Uh, I've put a split system reverse cycle air conditioner in here, this room, which is absolutely a big bonus for summer and winter. It means that I can come in here on a cold day, and more especially on a hot day, and have some coolness pumping out, which makes an absolute pleasure. All these drawers are full of bits and pieces for engines, accessories. Okay, we'll start off here. Willis goes. Another SE3. Another SE3, one of Trev's engines at the back there. I do like these little posters. Framed, I think they uh, really set the room off. Mount Rights. Okay, that's the top shelf. Main Rights. On Main Rights, parking. Okay, just go back and show you the, so that's the back of the southern wall. Now I'm going to spin around and show you the western wall. Again, if I go too fast, the video will be so jerky. I'm not sure if it's the light in here. I've gone from incandescent light bulbs. Uh, to these new LED bulbs and I've noticed that they can play havoc with the camera sensor it can make uh, video a little bit jerky and also give it a bit of a red tint got mostly accessories on this wall It's a great hobby, and uh, it's the main reason 
that I have my lathe and mill. As you know, most of these now, are, or a lot of these engines are getting up to 100 years old, especially a lot of the old German English ones. And uh, they all come missing bits and pieces. And the lathe and the mill really facilitate making repairs and making replacement parts. I'd be absolutely lost without having a lathe and the mill just for this hobby. Just for my steam hobby alone. So there we have it. Um, a complete tour of my model and toy steam engine room. I really appreciate everyone um, always liking and viewing my videos that I put up. It is very um, much appreciated. Been putting up a few workshop ones later, which I've enjoyed doing. And um, I think they just add a little bit more to my channel. Okay. Well, I hope this turned out alright. And I hope you enjoyed it. You can hear the I wooden floorboard squeaking. And uh, this was just a, a spare bedroom that my wife graciously allowed me to use. And as always, thank you very kindly for watching. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Bye for now.